where we're going to do the inverse Laplace of 1 over s squared plus 4s plus 8. As you can see on the bottom here, we cannot factor that and it does not have any real roots. So that means we will have to complete the square right here. And let me do it here for you. s squared plus 4s, leave a space and then put on plus 8 right here. What do I need to put on right here? Well, half of 4 is 2 and square that is plus 4. And then don't forget to immediately minus 4. So in other words, you're looking at this as s squared plus 4. 4s and then plus 4 and this is plus 4 right and then this right here it's nice it's just s plus 2 square plus the 4 is the same as 2 square and that's the bottom now so here we will have the inverse of plus on the top then put on 1 over we have the s plus 2 and then square and then plus 2 square like this as you can see on the bottom, we have the s squared plus 2 squared. On the top, there's no s at all. So you know this one right here, it enforces a sign, right? And in order for us to have the sign, we must have a 2 right here. Because the number on top must match with this number before your square, right? Yes, earlier we have the 4, but then you have to look at the 4 as 2 squared. This is 2 squared. Look at the blue 2. We need to have the 2 on the top. So let's go ahead and multiply that 2. But be sure, go ahead and divide that 2 out. So this is what we have, right? So let's see what do we... I'm not getting. Let's put on the 1 half. As you can see, this is s plus 2. That means this right here has been shifted. That means when we go back to the t world, we have to multiply by e to the negative 2t because this is the same as a minus negative 2, right? So this is what we need. And then we will have the sign... 2t. So let me just emphasize the 2 in blue right here. t. And that's it.